Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, most of the physics we learned in undergrad primarily focuses on fundamental theories that can be shown with pictures and solved using pencil and paper. However, physics in the real world is done a lot of time by computers in order to analyze the massive amount of data we receive through observation and experiments. That's why it's very important for those who are studying physics to have some type of skill in programming. And there are many different programming languages you can learn and use, but Python will be one that is commonly introduced and widely used uh, in undergrad. Now, Python is a powerful modern programming language that has wide uses in many different scientific fields, including physics. Um, now, what makes Python a great language is that it's easy to learn and comprehend to other programming languages. It's also powerful and easy to read. So on my channel, I will be introducing some applied programming on top of the math and physics that we will be learning. I will be using PyCharm, and you can download it for free, um, but I like the integrated development environment that they provide because it's very clean and very easy to use. And here's the link if you would like to download it for yourself and practice along with me. Uh, you can go to the jetbrains.com slash PyCharm, and there will be a download section here and you would just download it for whatever operating system that you're currently using whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. And just to give you a simple example, this is a Python program that calculates the integral of a function using the trapezoidal rule. And if you remember from your year one calculus, or if not, if you haven't taken it yet, all you're doing is approximating the area under a curve using trapezoids. And the more trapezoids you have, the better the approximation. So let's run this code and see what we get. So here, um, our trapezoid count is going to be the variable n. So we're going to start at 5. And as you can see, we have our answer as 4.82 just to kind of round it off. Now if we increase the number of trapezoids, let's just say 10, we see that we get 4.506 uh, and if we increase it again to 100 trapezoids we get 4.4. So as you can see, we get a better approximation when we increase the number of trapezoids we get. And this is just a really simple program. Um, I can go over the math before how I plan on it. I'll be going over the math early and then we'll do a simple program in Python so that we can both see the calculations by hand and also by the computer. But this is a simple example on how we can apply the math we learned to programming. So I hope you enjoy these series of videos coming up. And leave a comment down below on the things you would like to see regarding how physics is applied in programming. Until then, hope you have a great day. Take care.